America is pleased to announce and hit the show ring in the beef industry. Buckle and Banner is a quarterly online publication with an emphasis on Red Angus shows, juniors, and breed education. The new publication will highlight public cattle exhibition and related topics through creative editorial while staying connected to the commercial sector, which is the driving force behind the beef industry and our breed. Now entering the ring is class 194, pen, pen of three spring bull calves, calved after Mar April 1st, 2018. Number one, weight 920, ADG 3.33. Number two, weight 815, ADG 3.08. Number three, weight 755, ADG 2.87, overall pen average ADG 3.09.
We've got a single entry class here uh, after April 1st and three April calves here all the end of April. And uh, the first calf that cares, bull that came in uh, over on the far side, uh, really good in his feet and legs, tremendous average daily gain and weight on that bull for being an April calf. Love his depth of rib angles the skeleton read really good in that bull and he gets out and flexes extremely extremely good um, uh, plenty acceptable in his EPDs he gives up just a little bit as far as being just uh, as uh, impressive as maybe the other two bulls there in a couple areas but one that's plenty good in those regards you know, I, I think really impressive in terms of his scrotal development for his age he's got uh, a really impressive set of testicles as far as size on him for an April calf uh, he, he could be just a little stouter probably right from behind if I'm picking on him just a little bit. Uh, one that uh, gives up just a little muscle probably relative to the other two bulls that are in his pin here with him. But you love his rib. You love his soundness, his skeleton. A really impressive individual there that came in second. Uh, uh, probably the most impressive on paper. And then you watch that bull. He's big-footed. Uh, love his cushion to his joints and his angles of his skeleton. Uh, he comes with a great big hip and stifle and quarter in him. And he's got a lot of just uh, beef in him right there. Uh, a bull that uh, I think just uh, highlight a lot of good in that particular individual. Uh, third place bull uh, is the youngest of these, and he gives up just a little bit as far as growth to his contemporaries in the pin here, uh, but one that's still got a really nice upper rib shape, one that comes out stout to his pin set, uh, one that probably if we pick on him just a little bit. I wish sat down just a little softer at the ground right there in his pasture, uh, but one that I think is still plenty functional, going to make a great sire prospect as he continues to mature up. And so three real nice bulls here, a real nice class winning entry here of our April bull calves, and we'll get into two separate classes that we're going to split into. So these will come back for our champion drive uh, relative to our other two class winners that we'll get into in our older bulls. So congratulations to this firm. Very nice set of three bulls. So for class 195, uh, that class will be split. So the first three pens listed on your program will be one class, and then the next three pens uh, listed on your program on the back of that same sheet will be a second class. So we'll uh, bring those here into the ring here shortly, but just uh, those two classes will be split. Entering into the ring now is the first bull of pen number one of class 195, the, the first half of this split. His weight is 1,080, and average daily gain is 3.56. Bull number two, weight 1,030, ADG 3.39.
Bull number three, weight 1,070, ADG 3.77, overall pen average ADG 3.57. So again, uh, we have this class, class 195 pen of three junior bulls split. The first part, or the first split, will be all bulls with March birth dates, and then all bulls on the back side of the sheet here with January and February birth dates will be the second half of that split. Currently in the ring is bull number one out of pen two. Current our weight is eleven ninety five. ADG is four point one five. This is bull number two out of pen two, weight 1245, ADG 4.10.
Pull number three for pen two, weight 1205, ADG 3.90, overall pen average ADG 4.05. This is bull number one for pen three. Current our weight is 1,000. ADG is 3.14. This is bull two, pen number three, weight 1,045, ADG 3.30.
This is bull number three for pen three. Weight, 980. Average daily gain, 3.22. Overall average pen da average daily gain is 3.22. And this will round out uh, the, the pens for our first split of class 195. Pen of three, junior bull calves, calf January 1st through March 31st. As we work on bringing our three pens back into the arena, I want to give another chance to announce our judge today. Our judge is Caleb Boardman. He uh, currently resides in Laramie, Wyoming with his wife Kylie and son Cash. Um, Caleb grew, grew up on a commercial Sim Angus operation and he's currently a judging coach at lec and lecturer in the Department of Animal Sciences at the University of Wyoming. Again, we, will, we are splitting class 195, pen of three junior bull calves into parts A and B. And so the first three pens listed on your program will be part A, and then the second three uh, will be part B. Standing in the arena, to my right and your left, is pen one. Their aver overall pen average daily gain was 3.57. Directly in front of me is pen number two. Pen average average daily gain is 4.05. And here to my left, your right, is pen number three with a pen average average daily gain of 3.22.
Well, for our March uh, pin show here, uh, three nice pins again. I think all have a lot of value. I think uh, you can see what the operations are trying to go for within the types and kinds of each of the uh, pins here and, and have some similarities within each of the bulls that we get in each of these pins. Uh, our first pin that came in, uh, the first bull that came in actually there on our left, one that's really stout, heavy structured, lots of muscle, uh, a good bull there that I just really like his masculine feature about him. Uh, he could maybe ju be just a little better in his shoulder, but I think plenty good uh, still to be a functional herd sire there. Love his muscle. Big shaped, really shapely bull there in the middle. Gives up just a little grow to the bulls on either side of him. Maybe not quite as deep in his heart and flank, but one that you really appreciate for how much shape he has up high and from behind. And this bull here, those two are flush mates. These two are, uh, this bull uh, isn't uh, genetically the same there. Uh, so, and he reads just a little different, uh, a little deeper bodied bull. Uh, maybe gives up a little bone, but I sure like his skeleton a lot. He gets out very, very flexible. He's, he's a big stretchy bull that's got a lot of grow to him there so that's how I read those three bulls and I think that pin comes together nicely uh, our uh, highest growing bulls here in our middle they're big stout bulls and the first bull that came in on my right down here is one that you love him in terms of his rib shape and his power and his hip He's maybe pushing the limit in terms of shoulder and hawk placement for me, but uh, it comes with how much width and power he has. Uh, this set of bulls really impressive in terms of, again, their testicular development here. Second bull, one that uh, I think is the most impressive, I guess second most impressive here uh, that's in the pin as far as ADG, a uh, really rugged made bull, big top thick in it. He, he falls a little short on some EPDs there and is the bull of the pin that I'd like to just loosen up as we get him out and watch him move, but he should comes with a lot of masculine herd sire power and width and stoutness to him and then the black tailed bull is one little smoother made I like his shoulder as much as anything there he's just as probably true in his hawk placement of those three and gets out good maybe gives up just a little power but I think as an individual that one's got plenty and then we've got uh, our pin here on the left a uh, little uh, maybe uh, behind condition wise but they're probably the most honest there as well and still over three as far as the average daily gain I think some cattle that read really impressive in terms of their carcass characteristics on paper uh, cattle that I get out here and I think are plenty functional structured they do give up just a shot right from behind especially in terms of testicular development but I think three really nice bulls there that again are read very impressive on paper especially in their carcass their stayability very very impressive in some of those traits so again I think it gets real close in there there's uh, uh, probably a wink link in each of these pins as far as the two real strong contenders in there and then one that if you could change a couple things about would make my decision just a little bit easier but uh, I do like the extra just grow stoutness and performance of the pin here in the middle uh, they're going to go ahead and be our first place pin again I, then I'm going to go with this pin over here on the right just as far as that little extra rib and depth to them and then a real good made set of cattle over here that are just a little greener condition but still real good honest cattle right there so congratulations again to these three firms really nice set of bulls all of them brought out Third place in class 195, pen of three junior bull calves. Part, or the first split of that is exhibited by Lacey Red Angus of Drexel, Missouri. Again, I want to announce that we do have coffee and donuts uh, available uh, here in the front. If any of you, if anyone's hungry or would like to uh, partake in those, we definitely welcome you to come do that.
In the ring is bull number one from pen one of class 195, pen of three bull calves, uh, part B. Current, our weight, 1,090, ADG 3.27. This is bull number two from pen one of 195 of class 195B. Weight 1,115. ADG 3.36. This is bull number three, weight 1,110 pounds, ADG 3.39, pen average, average daily gain 3.34.
This is bowl number one of pen two in class 195, part B. Weight, 1215, ADG 3.65. This is bowl number two of pen two of class 195 part B. Weight 1235, ADG 3.68. This is bowl number three for pen two, weight 1,195, ADG 3.60, overall average pen ADG 3.64.
This is poll number one for pen three of class 195, part B. Weight, 1,135, ADG 3.43. This is poll number two, pen three, weight 1,095, ADG 3.21. This is bull number three, weight 1,155, ADG 3.18, pen average ADG 3.27.
Now coming back into the ring, uh, we're going to bring in all three pens for Class 195 Part B. Currently walking in is pen number one. It has a pen average ADG 3.34. Now entering the ring is pen number two with a pen average ADG of 3.64. Walking into the ring now is pen number three with a pen average ADG of 3.27. Here in our February group, again, three nice pins, I think, represent really good cattle. Our first pin that came in, uh, those bulls, I think, have some growing stretch to them. I like their upper rib shape. But uh, uh, bulls that fit together probably real nicely, I think maybe as uniform as we have out here. Ones, if I were to get a little critical, maybe just uh, make them a little more flexible as we get them out. A few of them will get just a little tight. Again, I think plenty functional, but maybe just pick them apart there just a little bit. Uh, they, they do uh, give up just a little bit of growth to our second pin here that came in, but a real nice set there. Uh, this second group that came in, uh, maybe not as consistent as the pins on either side of them, but three really high quality individuals in their own right. The first bull that came in on the left there, big ribbed and sound structure, not quite as just big framed or powerful from behind as the next two pair of bulls that care, the pair of bulls that came behind him. But like his depth or rib, really sound structured bull, uh, just looks real moderate and easy flesh in there. Uh, the bull that came in second, uh, the crop eared bull was big stretchy bull, got a lot of shape up high. Maybe a little softer on his pasterns and a little longer there than I'd like to see, but uh, one that has a lot of shape up high. Maybe not just quite as deep hearted as the other pair of bulls is what throws him off, but I like his shape up high. Then that third place bull was awfully, or the third bull that came in was awfully impressive. Big topped, stout, square, uh, just a real nice bull there that uh, ended that pin out real strongly. Uh, and uh, the, again, those are the big, uh, fast growing bulls there and pretty consistent there on their numbers. Uh, our third pin of bulls that come in um, uh, give up just a little bit of growth, but I think again, above a th uh, they're at 327 as a pin average, and that's good. The first bull that came in, man, big, soggy, ribbed, uh, wide constructed, sound structured bull. Uh, just really like his presence. The bull that comes in second, incredibly impressive set of genetic scripts. You look at his herd builder, you look at his spread from calving to yearling, is it really impressive? Great carcass bull there just all the way across, maybe as impressive as an individual EPD-wise as we've seen all day. Uh, and that bull looks really good phenotypically. He's got a lot of presence. Click straight in his hawk if I'm going to get real critical of that one, but I think that one gives you a great herd sire look uh, and is a real impressive highlight of that pin. The black tailed bull, I think another soggy made bull, not maybe quite as stout out of his hip and quarter as the two bulls to his right, but one that's big ribs, soggy, deep. And so, again, I think three very nice. Uh, 
pins in here that have some variance. Again, it's not my job to tell these firms how to raise their cattle. Uh, they've got to find what cattle work for their customers. But I was paid for my opinion out here today, and that's my job. The pin I like a lot as far as combining some consistency with some extremely nice individuals and an individual in there to highlight it is going to be the pin over here on the left. They're going to be our first place pin. Maybe not quite as consistent, but I think all three individuals are real good. Is going to be our second place pin right here. And then our most consistent pin maybe just gives up just a little much in terms of depth of rib right here and stoutness out of their quarters, this third pin. Three great pins, pins of cattle. Congratulate all these firms on a really nice set of cattle highlighted here in the yards at the National Western. Third place in class 195 part B uh, comes from L83 Ranch of West Hope, North Dakota. Now we're gonna bring back in our first and second place pens out of uh, class 194, 195 part A and 196 part B in for our champion uh, pen of three bull selection. Entry in the ring now is first place out of class 194, pen average ADG 3.09. Next in the ring is first place out of class 195, part A, pen average ADG 4.05. Now entering the ring is first place out of class 195 part B, pen average ADG 3.27. Again, uh, we'd like to uh, thank our judge, Caleb Boardman from Laramie, Wyoming, for uh, coming and evaluating the Red Angus Pen Show. He's done an excellent job, and we definitely appreciate him taking the time to come and do this for us today.
Well, a really nice uh, set of bulls here for our uh, Aprils, Marches, and Februarys. They represent just good kind of cattle out here again and ones that uh, and hopefully represent some of what the Red Angus breed is trying to do and progressive breeders here that highlight that. And certainly an honor to be able to stand down here and sort through them today. I thank the Red Angus Association for asking me to come and do this. It's been a lot of fun, a lot of uh, pleasure. Uh, to me, this is where the great cattle are, is down here, real world cattle. And to me, what we're doing today is exactly what uh, uh, the Red Angus Association Association is trying to highlight in that new magazine is to highlight some show cattle but keep it real world and commercial focused. I think that's what the story of the yards and the pin shows have always been about is to have some cattle that highlight producers and have them on halter and show cattle but they're kept uh, commercial cattlemen in mind. They're power cattle. We judge cattle together as groups and we try to keep BPDs in mind and power and grow and performance in mind and so I think that's exactly uh, what uh, the cattle industry is about and making sure we keep the consumer in mind and just raising good beef cattle and pounds of beef out here in mind and so certainly appreciate it it's been a lot of fun a lot of great cattle have came through here numbers weren't huge but every calf that came through I think certainly is really really good and I'll hopefully be a, a help produ uh, progress the Red Angus breed further and help these breeders and firms that have come through with their customer base and continue to help them uh, grow and expand. Uh, we've already talked about all these out here. I think we've got some consistent groups of cattle out here that some have some differences. A real nice built set of cattle here. They're obviously a little more immature. Uh, being April's there, our big stout groups, our March group, uh, they're the most impressive and average daily gain. They're big, wide, stout, muscular cattle there. Uh, we talked maybe a little bit of variation with one of those individuals and maybe some shoulder on another one. We got a little more moderate group of cattle here, real easy doing, sound structure cattle a little better in terms of genetics they give up a little bit of terms of growth right there uh, as far as average daily gain I think acceptable to me it comes really really close between these two pins of cattle right here in the middle I guess when it comes down to it at the end of the day uh, I think they're both consistent enough I think there's one group that has an individual that highlights it uh, that I like an awfully amount uh, both on and off paper that's going to be the group over here on the left they're going to be our champion pin today congratulations to them Grand Champion Pen of Three Bulls comes to us from BJ Farms of Henning, Minnesota. Coming into the ring now will be our second place pen out of class 195 part B. Pen average, av average ADG is 3.64. Those three bulls were real nice skin, uh, had some differences in type and kind, but three high quality individuals. But uh, I said, I thought this pen was very impressive. Can't leave the bulls that big, stout, powerful, and rugged out of our uh, uh, banner awards here. So that'll be our reserve champion pin. Congratulations to that firm. Thanks again for having me. Congratulations to all these exhibitors. Let's give them all a nice round of applause. Great set of Red Angus cattle. Reserve champion pen of three bulls is exhibited by TC Reds. Class 194, pen of three bulls, spring bull calves calved after April 1st, 2018. First place is J6 Farms of Given, Given, Nebraska. Class 195, Part A, Pen of Three Junior Bull Calves, Calf January 1st to March 31st. First place is TC Reds of Ringle, Wisconsin. Second place is Bar S Ranch of Paradise, Kansas. And third place is Lacey Red Angus of Drexel, Missouri. Class 195, Part B. First place is BJ Farms of Henning, Minnesota. Second place is Double A Land and Cattle, El Dorado Springs, Missouri. And third is L83 Ranch of West Hope, North Dakota. 
Thank you everyone for attending the 2019 Red Angus Pen Show. Uh, we appreciate having you down here and hope you have a great rest of your day.